we have one more cause that has nothing to do with sleep. So, Allie and Alex, you guys ready to pull down that cover? Number four on the list, dreaded dehydration. Dun, dun, dun. So when you think about it, when you're not taking in enough fluids, well, your body's working overtime. Because normally you drink fluids, it obviously goes down through your esophagus into your stomach, into your intestines, and it gets absorbed. That's what determines your blood volume. When you're po properly hydrated, you have nice blood volume. With dehydration, your blood volume decreases because your blood volume is 90% water. That causes everything to work harder. So in this dehydrated state, what's happening? Well, your heart is compensating. It has to pump harder and faster to get oxygen and blood to the organs of your body. Your muscles are going to be working harder. They're going to feel more fatigued than normal. And what, of course, this can cause is just this overall lack of clear thought and concentration. You might notice that you have dry tongue, dry lips, your skin. What you're seeing here is actually a close-up. When you're properly hydrated, you're going to have good skin turgor. It should bounce back without a problem. If you're dehydrated, we call this skin tenting. If you do it on the back of your hand, you'll pull up and let go, and it'll stay tented if you're severely dehydrated. And all these physical signs basically mean that you are more likely than not staying hydrated enough. Certainly, these are severe signs. These become life-threatening. Confusion, if you're not making any urine. If you notice someone has sunken eyes, their heart seems to be bat, um, beating faster than normal, particularly in babies. Babies crying, Dr. Sears. Mm -hmm. If they're make, not making tears, they're probably dehydrated. That's one of the big things I ask when I'm on the phone with a parent with a sick child and they may be dehydrated. Are they crying and are they making tears? And if the answer is no, have them come in quickly. And it happens even in the wintertime, dehydration, because we don't feel that need for thirst. Anyone in the audience willing to admit that maybe they don't drink enough water on average? How about you in the front row here? What's your name? Anna Maria. Hi, Anna Maria. Beautiful Hi. name. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So, so how, much, how much do you drink in a given day? Do you ever have any of these symptoms? Actually, yes. Um, I experience a lot of those symptoms. But honestly, I can't think of the last time I drank water. I really? usually have like a Cuban coffee in the morning, a Red Bull for lunch. Whoa. That'll <laughs> actually make things worse. Yeah. Well, I had yeah. soup yeah. yesterday. Soup? I had soup. Dad had some water in it. Chicken okay. noodle soup. <laughs> but the big deal, and I want you to show this demo, really what we're talking about now is this just low underlying fatigue, and one of the most simple culprits could be a little bit of dehydration. So there's a little game I play in my office to show kids the importance of staying hydrated. Lisa, can you help me? Absolutely. Right, so check this out. So this wheel is going to represent your, your body's cells and how well they work. And suppose you're nice and hydrated. Lot, you're drinking lots of water all day long. Ooh. Everything's just spinning really, really fast. Your body's working really, really great. Your muscles are strong. Your brain's working really well. Great, all right? But. What if you're one of those people that only drink one cup of water a day, right here? And there's a lot of people that do just drink one cup of water in a day. Now, that wheel just doesn't ne go nearly it's as fast. definitely not as excited. It's still working, <laughs> just, it's working not, it's just, just not working sluggish. nearly as, as well as it should. And, uh, your body just does not have any reserves at all. Right. And I'm someone who doesn't drink a lot of water. There's a lot of tips and tricks to try and get yourself if you don't mm -hmm. particularly like the taste of water.